Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you and uh, here we go the expert uh, secret uh, with you uh, today we are going to talk about the expert and the secrets of experts and uh, you know many stories going to go be involved in this is uh, episode we have CIA involved we have the KGB we have the CCB we have the BBC we have uh, CB I mean you have whatever you want I mean it's obviously true story we are going to discuss today now, don't forget to invite your uh, uh, four wives or girlfriends if you are dating four at the same time because it's halal. And, uh, you know, uh, in the same time, uh, today we are going to share some knowledge, uh, which is nobody know really. Nobody have such a knowledge. I mean, there is no no one. It's, it, it's impossible. Actually, I never saw someone. Not even once. Not, not even uh, half ones have the specialty of a prophet Muhammad you know prophet Muhammad is expert about everything you can ask him about sex he is a sex machine you can ask him about science he is the science machine you can ask him about space he's a spaceship you can ask him about spiritual uh, I will pass this one you can ask him about uh, how to take a wife to the bed. Uh, um, I, I, will, I will pass this one too. You can ask him about anything actually you want. He knew anything. Just use your email and genetion. I don't know really what to say and how to express 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 how to express my ad, admire, admire my ad, uh, anyway that word you know it to the prophet who knows everything even the Muslims they say that prophet Muhammad he discovered concrete cement uh, massage for heart beating uh, nuclear I mean everything there's nothing is missing in this person actually this guy is the dream of every woman to beat him up I mean to to marry him and for me I cannot really uh, recommend any man to get married from for ladies except Prophet Muhammad. This is why Allah He made a special verse in the in the Quran to give opportunity, equal opportunity to all citizens of Islam. Any believing woman, she offer herself to the Prophet so he can do uh, <coughs> <coughs> to her. I mean, look how he is, how how caring he is. You see, he don't want to share his. Uh, <coughs> only with the wives no every believe in women she have the right to share in using it it's a communist thing you know like it's not uh, okay there's nothing it's called your husband hello all of us we have this husband especially his his name is muhammad hmm. I got to repent. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. You tell that to Muhammad. So, what is the topic today? Negotiation. How to negotiate? You can't hear me? You cannot be serious. My friend, the volume in your phone is not high. It's impossible. Negotiation. I hope today people they will learn because negotiation can change your lifestyle, can change your future and even your past. Negotiation is the best thing you can learn. As an example, let us say you want to get married. And the girl you want to marry from, she is negotiating with you the size of the ring. 
and he did not know how to negotiate <laughs> he will go bankruptcy but if you are so good in uh, <clears throat> negotiation you can make her or convince her instead of accepting a diamond ring to accept uh, a used car tire So negotiation, negotiation is extremely important. As an example, let us say you are married. Forget about getting married. And you have a mother-in-law. And her name is Corona. And she is bringing horrible things to your life. If you are good in negotiation, you can make your mother-in-law not Corona. Actually, you can negotiate with her and change her name from Corona to Lolita. It's all about negotiation. The skills and the kills. Now, demons and our women, best friend, my friend, you want to die? You want to say Sophia? You want to say diamonds, not demons? I mean, look at this. I thought my English is bad. Here we go. I feel better now. Thank you for making me feel better. Do you look at the screen sometime? No, my friend, I don't look at my screen. I look at my shoe. I mean, I, I bought shoes, new shoes. It's not really new. I have them for the last maybe, I think, maybe seven years. But still, they are new. I mean, until now, I cannot believe it. I was able to get those shoes because they are brand. They are, they are a brand, you know. And I got them after a long negotiation. You know, I send email to Amazon, they send me email back. I send email and they send me back. And, you know, after many negotiations, they said to me, okay, you know what, we have used one. If you want, you can get them for the price you are asking for. And they have a hole in it. And that was, a, that was the best deal. Because not only they are used, which means I do not need to suffer from, uh, you know, like uh, the leather when it's new is going to be uh, tough. You know, actually, the guy in the store, he told me once, that if you don't wear the shoes, for the, I said, the shoes will hurt you for the first three days. After three days, they will not hurt you. So at that time, when I bought the new shoes, I did not wear them for the first three days. Still, they hurt. And later, I noticed that I, he went, what he wanted to say, that uh, three days of use. And this is why I decided to buy used shoes. And this is one of the skills of negotiation I learned from Prophet Muhammad. Now, do we have any Muslim here want to say something? Because I can open sky for you. Any Muhammadan? And remember, our skills is about negotiation here. I mean, this is the lesson of the day. Why you do use XC for ahem, ahem? No, I don't use XC for ahem, ahem. What XC? What is that? What XC mean? I don't know what XC mean. You make me confused now. But I say ahem <laughs> uh, because uh, I, ha I have Corona. Not because I don't want to say the word. Now, do we have any Muslim here who would like to join us live on air? So I will open my Skype for you. Anyone? why it shows zero in live chat because okay those numbers doesn't count you see youtube count only muslims the rest are they don't allah don't count them only muhammad and they can count all of us we are zero for allah hmm? any muhammad want to join us live on air anyone Can Christians call me? What I would do if you are a Christian, call me. I mean, we would do what Muslims? Muslims, okay, a Muslim, you know, a Muslim, this is what they do. They get two Muslims and they are laughing at the Christian prince. I mean, they are Muslims, what do you expect? But how many times 
we have Muslims calling us and we made them laugh life on air at their prophet you are my witness right Muslims they get another Muslim like this guy his name is Shushu and the other one his name is Fufu so they Tutu and Mumu they talk like a Christian princess of his stupid ha 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 you know like this, this is just stupid the real comedy is when we make a Muslim laugh at the prophet teaching and you are my witness always it happened now who is a brave Muslim he can really call me and he hold himself from laughing at the teaching of your uh, of, of your prophet hmm? anyone okay there's nobody it's okay this is why I made a song it's called nobody nobody no nobody no nobody no nobody no nobody you know it's very uh, you know a famous song even the, the angels now in Allah heaven they are singing it because there's nobody there nobody nobody no nobody no nobody no nobody da -da -dum. nobody is coming nobody is leaving nobody understand nobody you ask question about Islam what you hear I mean who is the Muslim want to answer me nobody nobody hear you nobody is here nobody don't try nobody ta -ta -ta. nobody this is a religion of nobody you know as long as you're asking questions stupid questions like ask question about brother can I shave under my arm brother every shake in the in the world would volunteer to answer the question as long as silly question stupid question all of them they volunteer to answer it however today I will take you to the front world the world which you wish to go which mommy and daddy did not have opportunity to take you there I will take you to the space space in the space my friend a lot of things happen and what happened in the Vegas stay in Vegas I mean in the space stay in the space except in the case of a Prophet Muhammad chapter name enjoying a salah i mean look at the translation translation is fantastic now how in the world somebody don't speak arabic to know what a salah is and how it became a salah anyway and mentioning what is that the differences reported by narrators a chain hadith bin malik blah blah, blah okay with well, Hey, by the way, if you don't like this hadith, we can show you a different one. All right. If this hadith is not really good for you, uh, we can go to different hadith. Actually, let us see maybe different hadith which is more uh, more strong, brother. Uh, this is Sahih Muslim. This is more strong, you know. Uh, this is Sahih Bukhari. This is even more strong. This is more, way, way more strong. I mean, this is Bukhari, brother. All right. Here in the story, we see how a salat, the prayer, was prescribed on the night of Al Isra. Miraculous night journey. You know what? There is something about us Arab. Everything we do, nobody see. There is something very special about us, you know, we as Arab. I mean, who is the one, the first one who have a vaccine against uh, go Corona will be, uh, for sure, is going to be an Arab, but nobody will see it. They will publish in TV, it's an American or a Jew who find the vaccine. But the truth is, it is us, the Arab, because always we do things at night in the dark because we don't want 
anyone to say the Arab saved us. You know, we are very like you know, we we should not show people that we what, the good we do because this is will give us the blessing. And here we go. Prophet Muhammad he went to the seven heaven in the top of a flying donkey. It's not a donkey. It's between a donkey and a mule. <clears throat> And he went to the seven sky and nobody saw him. Hey, by the way, guys, I, I did not tell you what happened to me yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I don't know if you were watching uh, 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 President Trump. He made a speech in the White House. I was just, actually, I wasn't beside him. He was beside me. I was between him and between, what his name, uh, her name, uh, Melinda, Melinda, what her name? Bin Laden, Trump. Yeah. So anyway, his wife was next to him. I was between them, but because I'm an Arab, you cannot see me. This is a feature only for us. We go to heaven. We come back to heaven. Nobody see us. No, there is no need for witnesses. It's a miracle, but nobody can see it. And this is the purpose of miracles. I mean, miracles. No, suppose not. Nobody should see them. Actually, you know. Only Arab. Nobody can see them when they do miracles. And here we go. Prophet Muhammad, he went to the seventh sky and he went not only to the seventh sky, man, he went to Jerusalem. He went to Jerusalem. Hmm. I'm truly convinced that this is a prophet who did this miracle. And we do not need really any proof. Well, who need witnesses anyway? That's not even required. Hmm. Uh, do we have any Muslim here want to help us? Why we have a 388 people only? I'm really upset from you guys. I'm not going to go live on here unless we have more viewers here. What's wrong? Where is everybody? Who are you? Eh, since coronavirus, you guys are scared to gather, huh? <laughs> you crazy people. <laughs> Those people, they are not. See, my people, they understand that corona cannot spread through the internet. But I understand you are not educated and you are not Arab. And your prophet is not Muhammad. <laughs> this is why you are scared and terrified. Anyway. Oh, David Wood is on. David Wood is on. David Wood is on. Hey, can you call David and ask him if he did see Prophet Muhammad go into the seven heaven? Maybe because he's blonde. Maybe he can see better than me. I have no idea. For me, I did not see him. I'm from the Middle East. I look everybody in the, everybody at the, everybody every day at the sky. I could not see him. How many of you are here is first time? Are you here first time? Give me one if you are first time. Anyone? <clears throat> Nobody here first time? All of, all of you are old customers? I'm going to close this store. Me. Rina, you are first time? Yeah, you are right. Your name is first. Your name is Rina CP and you are here first time. I believe you. I believe you. It must be true. His name is Rina CP and he is here first time. I mean, it must be true. I swear by Allah it's true. So so if you if this is the first time for you here, how come your my name is part of your name? Um, Alhamdulillah. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. He is first time here and his name Reen is Rina CP. Things happen. Now let us go to the hadith. I mean wh why we are wasting time? I'm, I was just hoping a Muslim will join us or would do something, you know, like a true story, but like like a blah blah, you know. 
but look like a story like it's not coming it's not happening you know all right <clears throat> 407 watching is that too many my friend go to this program it's called dead me i uh, don't know no, that me life me you will find a girl using her lips a stick and there's five thousand people watching i mean she's doing nothing she uh, uh, by the way i mean it's amazing how they do it she she do her lips like ducks like ooh, like you know how the ducks you know duck ooh, you know and then she do this, uh, these things in her uh, face you know and, and people like like people are in drugs Three five thousand, five thousand, six thousand for lipstick, and you know, look at me. I have four hundred twenty-three people. Unbelievable. Where is my lipstick? Hold on, I don't have one. I will use the paint. Hmm. Honestly, you go there. I mean, you will see crazy stuff. I saw a guy was was cleaning his bookers from his nose. He have thousands of people listening. Actually, he wasn't talking. He was just he. I think he forgot that the camera is on. I don't know. And he, like his finger was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. and thousands of people in the in the. And um, I don't know. I mean, what's happening here? Why I have only four hundred uh, people here? Anyway, I learned. I learned my lesson that life is not fair. What you can do, you know. <sighs> Sam Shamu, he got only 120. My friend, because the the better he is, the less he get. See, so that that means Sam Shamu is better than that means he's better than me. The more serious you are, <laughs> the less people you get. This is the truth. You know. Okay, go, right now, go and watch any city TV movie, whatever. You know, you will find the, the crazy stuff. That's the truth, my friend. Hmm. I better change the topic. Okay, I will change the topic. Okay, hold on. I will take your advice. I mean, what, you, I sh you should be my assistant. With the guy who said to me, he changed the topic. I mean, where have you been, man? All this time? Now you came to tell me it changed the topic? Why you not say that to me a year ago? Okay. <clears throat> All right, we will change the topic. hey no this is not this is a bad topic so hold on this is not only will bring me uh, uh, a lot of people will bring me all the bees in the world okay uh, <clears throat> no this is not good one too I mean that what the heck? as many women they will get divorced after they see those pictures hold on let me change the topic I'm trying to find something uh, suitable for uh, your age. Most of you are very uh, young, you know. Um, okay, I found a, I found a good topic. How Prophet Muhammad was able to go to sky, and the answer is just in front of us. keyboard I mean why do don't believe that the prophet was able to go to the seven heaven if a guy with a keyboard he can jump in the sky like this hmm? what do you think about the fee the miracle that no Chinese Muslim died in the coronavirus. <laughs> Why do you have their names if they are Muslims or not? <laughs> My friend, the Muslims are dying left and right in in, uh, uh, in Islamic countries. Don't you see how many uh, Muslims in Iran they died just in the last week? The number exceeds five hundred already. Oh boy. Okay, this is a good topic. Let us uh, see something else. Something, something else. Hold on. Uh, let us see something else. Those are sensitive topics, like go and open a gaming channel in a in a program called the uh, uh, Fritch. Fritch? No, it says uh, Switch. No, not Switch. Uh, Mitch. Uh, anyway, like it's something like that, you know, it's, uh, it's, 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 you know, uh, you know, 
if you open uh, a game you will find a couple of thousand watching and like they are so uh, 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 I mean it's amazing how people they like serious stuff okay well, I'm trying to find the topic which is no this is not a topic this is this is not a topic this is a version no we cannot speak about this hold on the top if I put this picture for long all the Muhammadan in YouTube will join us immediately mayday mayday you will see like text brother did you see what is there they are life I think we are, this girl is there in the life but this is a Christian Prince channel there is no way there's a girl there no brother I did I saw it in, in the in the icon let us take it off otherwise all the uh, morning orny people they will come to us uh, <clears throat> Uh, let us change the topic this is not a good topic uh, let us talk about something uh, something attractive you know something attractive La la la, so beautiful. Do you know that the Prophet Muhammad is the only Prophet he dis discover the cure for AIDS? Do you know? Do you know that the Prophet Muhammad he found the cure in the wing of the fly? Can you talk about uh, near death experience, my friend? Uh, we, uh, near death experience. Why I want to talk about it? You, 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 you have it every day. You go in the bus, almost you die. You go in the highway, you almost dead. You, you go to the mall, you have corona, and you want to talk about near death experience. I mean, don't you have it every day? I mean, this is boring. We have near death experience every day. Your mother-in-law she visit you. This is near death experience. Your wife, she get upset from you. That's near death experience. You know, you you might get a shot by uh, by her high heels or a shoe from her heavy duty ones. So, what do you mean? Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, dear near death ex uh, experience. You are you you are, you are having those things every day. What's wrong with you? You know. You buy a medicine from the pharmacy. They say to you, "Oh, this medicine is good for a headache," but disclaimer. This medicine can cause heart attack, blood, you know, uh, 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 thinning, and uh, uh, can cause uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, uh, brain uh, internal bleeding. I mean, this is all just to stop headache. That is a uh, you know near death uh, experience. You do not need to talk about. You have it everything. Now let's go back to the topic. Any Muslim want to help us? Which one we should talk about? How the prophet he discovered that. There is a cure in the wing of the winds of the fly or uh, <clears throat> the expert. You are allergic to animals? <clears throat> Thank God you don't live in the Middle East, my friend. <clears throat> Do we have any uh, Muslim? Want to share something with us? No, no, we have a topic already. We will talk about the Prophet, how he negotiate. You see, Prophet Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven. <clears throat> before he went to the seven heaven, we talk about that before, you remember? Uh, we are uh, Prophet Muhammad before he go to the seven heaven. <clears throat> By the way, seven heaven, they are really seven. I mean, seriously. True. And uh, everything is seven. Did you uh, did you remember the song, uh, Seven Seas, and then appointed as a, as a, I don't know the words, you know, but those are uh, you know this is coming from reality, the se the seven stuff. Now it's not like uh, something uh, Prophet Muhammad is making up, you know. He heard in other books they are using the word seven. So then, since then, Muhammad he took it, and then everything is seven. 
you know <clears throat> however just to remind you uh, 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 fast uh, uh, fast what they call it what they call it fast my english is really crazy by the way do you know that i graduated from uh, the best university in the world for english and this is an university established by Jibril and Angel Harut and Marut in the Babylon. This is why it's in the Babylon because you know they are this. They taught us English, uh, languages. Anyway, Prophet Muhammad, according to the story here, just to make it short for you, he was like uh, near the Kaaba, and then there is two angels. They came. One of them, he cut his chest from here to here. And then he took all the garbage inside the prophet. And by, by the way, the prophet, he have a lot of garbage inside. I mean, you cannot even believe it. First a truck, second truck, third a truck. I mean, look, full of it. I mean, seriously, he's full of it. To the point, Allah, he needed to send two angels to do clean up. Any Muslim don't agree with me? PT? PT, you are saying my English is excellent? PT, do you know that line will take you to hell, my friend? Come on, PT, I don't want you to go there. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, Allah, he knew what is inside the Prophet, and he knew that there's a lot, he is full of it. So he decided to send an angel to, to do clean up. They cut his chest. And they start picking up uh, things out, you know, and look, uh, you know, he found shoes, he found zucchini, he found the Caesar, he found the cigarette, he found a lot of stuff inside. And then, brother, as you see the story in front of us, the angel, uh, the angel, by the way, we should say when we say angels, we should say uh, peace upon him, because if you don't say that, the angel will get upset and he might cut your chest too and take all the stuff from inside, including your credit card. You know? So anyway, uh, as you see here, uh, while I was in Mecca, the roof of my house was open. And this is exactly what happened in USA all the time. You, you hear about, uh, uh, you know, like a tornado. You know? So we can say that Jibreel is a tornado man. Like, phew. You know, he opened the roof and, okay, he is, he's, he's inside. By the way, why he need to open the roof? I thought the angels, they can go through. I mean, what is that? What do you mean open the roof? Well, why why he opened the roof? How come on Muhammad, first time, uh, Jibreel, he went to his room and the wife Khadija was there. He did not open the roof. Maybe he got from the window. Ah, the window was open at that time. It was summer. Here it is, must be uh, winter. So the angel, he said to himself, I'm going to get in. He tried the door, he could not get in. He tried the window, he could not get in. So what he will do? Open the roof. Open the roof. And then you know what? It's very easy to open the roof. I mean, he's an angel. Like he can use his fingernail and you know, or lips stick. And you know, it's uh, that's it. He's inside. So then Jibreel descended and opened my chest. Look, there's no time to waste. This guy Jibreel is a businessman. He did not say hello. He did not say how you doing. He did not say, do you remember me? He did not say, take off your your, your clothes. No, he's, he descended. He starts uh, doing, uh, you know, the butcher stuff. I like that. I like people with business mentality. Obviously, he is not an Arab. Obviously. Otherwise, if he's an Arab, he will sit with Muhammad. He will ask for something. They will talk about, the, they will start gossiping about the neighbors and the neighbors of the neighbors and, you know, about my, his mother-in-law and what happened yesterday and what do you think about this guy? I mean, until they rip everything, every, everybody in the neighborhood. But obviously, Jibreel is not into this business. He is not an Arab and he don't like it. So right away, Jibreel, he this descend, descendant, hold on, I, didn't, I need like a week to, to pronounce this word. Just give me a time, guys. You know, but uh, uh, one of you, by the way, he just said, my English is excellent. And look like the Western, when they say the word excellent, it's mean like, <laughs> so it, it have different meaning for them, you know? Or maybe he uh, is doing sarcasm, 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 okay, whatever it is. So, Jibril, this, this, uh, this uh, disconnected, 
it doesn't say disconnected CP. Why you are lying? Hold on. This, uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, okay, uh, you know, this, whatever. And he opened my chest and he washed it with Zam, Zam. And look here the beauty about like Zam, it's a music. The name of the water alone is a music. Zam, 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 Zam. Zum, 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 zum. Imagine your, your wife. Uh, this is my advice for you. I am single, I cannot practice it. So, if you have a wife and you are married and you want to surprise her with something extremely nice and sexy, when she is asleep, get it close to her ears and sing for her. Zum, 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 zum. Zum, 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 zum. Zum, zum, you know and right away your wife she will wake up and she will give you a hug <laughs> but I advise you to wear like uh, protection glasses for your eyes okay because <laughs> the hug it might be very powerful <laughs> anyway it's an advice it's up to you to use it or not to use it anyway so he did wash it with zum, zum water okay, good. look look they have to tell us it's water because why why they add the word water because it sounds like a pepsi cola it sounds like a coca-cola how we will know it is water because zamzam is like what the heck is this name so zamzam water so you won't be confused because there is zamzam water there is zamzam watermelon there is zamzam lavash curry there is zamzam uh, uh, shish kebab i mean so we have to say water otherwise you will not know and this is here showing you the intelligence of the prophet who made the story. Then he brought a golden tray full of wisdom. Now here, here the word wisdom is coming in the perfect location. You added me in Skype. Welcome to the club, my friend. I have like a, I have a half million people add me in the Skype. Well, what I would do with that? <clears throat> Hmm. He want to call, but he's an ex-Muslim. What I would do with him? I mean, I can take him later, maybe. I want a Muslim who believe in this story to call us. I did not open my Skype yet, by the way. But if there is a Muslim who is willing to call us, I will be happy to have him. So anyway, good morning from India. Guys, you believe it? We have people listening to us right now as we speak from India. Praise be to Allah, the one who discovered the internet. If not Allah, we will not have internet and we will not have Indian from India. Thank you, Allah. The wisdom of Allah discovered the internet for us. And by the way, in India, a lot of Indian, unbelievable. You go in India, you find Indian in the street. You go in the mall, Indian in the mall. You go to the supermarket, even the guy there is an Indian. I mean, it all there is Indian everywhere. You know? Now, we go back to the topic. All Indian are welcome. We love them. They are my best friends. Uh, so, Allah, He uh, He sent with the angel Jibreel, uh, a golden tree full of wisdom. Look here. Allah, he don't like do like the same as a prime Amazon. They send you a box which is damaged. And you know, like there's a, the dog, he, you know, he pissed on it uh, after they left it in the front of your house or something, you know, like he go and he left his leg like zzz. So you receive your prime, you know, is, uh, is wet uh, from the dog pissing of the neighbor. So, no, Allah, he sent the wisdom in a golden tree. Here we need to ask the question. Why Allah, he is using gold? Anyone knows? Why he did not use a tray made of silver? The sound of this video is so small. What does that mean? Guys, do you hear me? Uh, is my voice good? Am I heard good? Is my voice clear? 
somebody is saying that I, I'm looking here I mean my mark is going all the way to, let me know please if you have a difficulty in the microphone it doesn't make sense is it sound good so why people complain says the sound is small I don't know what is that it's very good okay let me make it bad I don't like to have a very good sound because you know what you know there is I noticed a scientist they say it. if you have a very nice sound or voice that will attract all kind of uh, crazy stuff uh, crazy people you know so I better change it hold on <clears throat> okay I switch to the, the different channel so Allah he brought a golden tray full of wisdom and faith having and having poured its contents into my chest and here is the top question what is the contents in this tray you see here it says a tree a true a, 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 tray, a tray full of wisdom okay but the wisdom is made from what It is a stereo. Okay, hold on, as long as stereo, then let me do something. Then <clears throat> he pure the contents in my chest, and I could not believe the best. He put it there, and he left it there, and the wisdom came everywhere. La 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 too much wisdom will kill you, man. So anyway, Jibreel, he brought the wisdom and he pured the contents, con contents into my chest, but they did not tell us what it is made from, like silicon, bilicon, milicon, whatever it is. I mean, so what, what do you mean wisdom? Okay, well, uh, wisdom. I, I never heard of a wisdom coming dishes, by the way, but it's possible. Allah can do it. You know, I can do it. I mean, he can put it. Can't Allah, can't Allah freeze wisdom, make it like a jelly, like in a jelly or something, or ice cream? He can. I mean, this is Allah. Hello. It's a very normal. Very normal. <clears throat> Don't forget to unsubscribe before we finish, by the way. For if you unsubscribe, Allah will send you a wisdom to your chest. Especially if you are a female and you are planning to have a bigger chest. Allah, he will not fulfill your chest with the silicone and those. No wisdom. A lot of wisdom. Like, you know, you go to bed, you sleep, and you are like a female and you pray to Allah. Allah, give me a bigger chest. And then Allah, he sends Jibreel. He cut your chest and he... I push the wisdom inside and then like you will have like boom 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 like boing 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 like big ones you know speak Arabic who do you mean speak Arabic I do not know Arabic last time I saw a video made by Muslim they say Christian friends don't speak Arabic so I, I stopped speaking Arabic that's it I got busted you know yeah actually in Arabic it's nicer in Arabic here it says better than the English actually فنزل جبريل ففرج صدري ثم غسله بماء زمزم ثم جاء بطست يا بتاع الطست انت يا بتاع الطست ايه ده طست طست يا محمد طست يا له جاء بطست من ذهب ممتلئ حكمة وإيمانا if 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 translation so he where i go we left out so you know he uh you know he put the content in his chest and close it but you know what there is something missing here i oh, know it says there i i it's my fault i i missed i i missed it i missed it because in arabic i, I did read something in English, I missed this line after here it says Zamzam water. It says, Then he brought a golden tray full of wisdom and faith. A 
I'm trying to explain to you because most of you are not educated. Normal, you are not Arab like us. You know, what we can say, ignorant people. All right, all right. I'm just uh, going to try to help you to understand the situation here, you know, so you can understand the situation. Okay. Every country have different name for wisdom. In the Middle East, this is wisdom. In your country, I don't know what they call it. No, I mean, all uh, all scientists in the world agree that wisdom, uh, they come in dishes and they have different color and there is many flavors. And this is why you see like there's a guy who's a wise and funny. There's a guy who's wise but rude. There's a guy who's wise and, uh, uh, I mean, uh, cold. So, uh, why? Because this is a flavor of wisdom. No. Hmm. Until now, I don't see any Muslim making a comment, which is weird. Anyway, to make the story shorter, shorter, I mean, this guy is support. Until now, I did not even get into the story which I want to talk about. You believe it? All of this supposedly is introduction. What I can do? We are Arab. You know, for us, we make introduction for a topic for six hours. And the topic itself will take six minutes. But this is our way lifestyle, my friend. What we can do, I mean, this is the best. Because introduction is more important than the topic. That's why if you watch an Arabian movie, you will find like the first 45 minutes is the names of those who went in the movie, but the movie is five minutes. So like, don't exp you do not need to watch the first four 45 minutes. <clears throat> You do not need uh, Arabic to give dawah, just good knowledge. Uh, Bridge Ahmadiyya, why you don't call me my friend as long you are a person who have a knowledge. You see, I want to see your knowledge. You see, your prophet, he get his knowledge by a dish. Mr. Ahmadiyya, how you get your knowledge? Are you there, Ahmadiyya? Here you see the, no you see the wisdom of a Muhammadan. Look, 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 look. Look at this. A Muhammadan is telling another uh, person how what he need. He said to him, David, you do not need Arabic to give da'wah. Just good knowledge. Bridge Ahmadiyya, I will cut off my 20-foot beard if you know what you are talking about. And this is my challenge to you. Do you dare to call me? Do you dare to call me Mr. Knowledge? Hello? Are you going to play dead now? What happened to your knowledge? It's in vacation? Hey brother, you do not know to know Arabic. You need good knowledge. You idiot. So how come you speak to Allah in Arabic? How come Allah will not accept your prayer unless you pray it in Arabic? Hmm? He's dead now. He's not even texting. He will wait until I forget about him and then he will text. Okay, we go back to the topic. So guys, the story here is really amazing. And then Jibreel, he took him to the, uh, to the heaven, uh, you know, and then they went to the first door and they knocked at the door. Hmm? And here you will see an am amazing part of the story. I mean, what happened with the door? Why is it not making a sound? I need something else. The angels, the, the gatekeeper of the heaven, the gatekeeper of the heaven. There's a gatekeeper of the heaven. Yeah, because you cannot leave the door open. 
there is walking by dogs, there is homeless, there is Democrat, there is uh, Christians, Jews, I mean, you, you know, uh, people are walking by, so there is a gatekeeper. Okay? Uh, let me let me explain to you because most of you are naive you know what naive mean in, in english right naive in eve this is what it means uh, which means most of you uh, is womanizer this is why naive mean eve you know eve you know eve yeah naive eve like you, you know you are a womanizer at night you go after eve at night yeah you will know it okay so most of you are naive so muhammad and he uh, and the and the angel jibreel they went to the heaven and they reached the nearest heaven. Jibreel said to the gatekeeper of the heaven, Open the gate! Let me, uh, let me uh, 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 demonstra demonstrate for you. Here, there is a fence. Okay? This is the wall of the uh, heaven, brother. And here, there is a gate. Literally gate, not uh, metaphorically, as you see. And this gate, uh, it have two doors. The distance between the two gates is 500 years, brother. I mean the doors. 500 years. Uh, Muhammad Kader saying, Islam offer us whatever we want, what, what Yahweh offer. You see, my friend, when you say your prophet, he offer you whatever you want, that is stupid. Okay, what if a Christian prince convert to Islam and he wanted to spank Muhammad every day? You see, I don't want to change the topic, but just to show you how you Muslims, I don't know what Muslims you think. Huh? Okay, what if I convert to Islam and I ask Allah to, uh, to keep his promise? I want to spank Muhammad every day, three times, in the morning and in noon and after and after night. I mean, at night. I mean, how in the word that God, he said to his followers, whatever you wish. That alone is enough to prove that your God is shish kebab and he is falafel. I asked the same question to a Muhammad and he says, what if somebody, he, he want to have sex with the Prophet, he want to rape the Prophet, he says, so what? He will get his wish. <laughs> so look at brother. Prophet Muhammad, he arrived to the gate. And Jibreel, not Muhammad, Jibreel. Let me, let me draw Jibreel for you. Jibreel is, a, is, a, is an angel, you know. And he have like 600 wings, you know, you know, a lot of wings, a lot of wings. Look, 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 wings. Those are all wings, like wings, wings, wings. So a lot of wings all over, wings like the wings come in. Okay, this is Zibril. Zibril, he said to them, open the gate. The angel who is behind the gate, he cannot see who is in the front of the gate. Why? Because the brother is here, here behind the wall. This, this is the other angel. He cannot see. There's no hole here in the door so he can see through. So the angel who is behind the gate, he said, Who is this? Are you following with your brother? Who is this? Look, look. Here we go. Look at the story. The... He said to the gate, uh, the gatekeeper in the heaven, open the gate. The gatekeeper said, who is it? What the heck? Who is it? This is remind me of a story about a girl who the wolf, he ate her grandmother. And uh, he wanted to eat her. Who is it? It's normal. I mean, an angel who do not know who's behind the gate. 
because he don't have a vision there's no security camera at that time brother i hope that allah now he installed them so the angel behind the gate he did not know what is in the front of the gate and then the angel jibreel he gave him the keyboard the keyboard yeah the key uh, no the keyword sorry the password what is the password brother he said to him uh jibreel if 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 there is no way in the world anyone will know this word you say jibreel he opened the gate for you actually this is what happened to me last time when i was in uh, like uh, Sir, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, caribbean uh, you know because you know Sri Lanka and the caribbean anyway so uh, the guy in the hotel uh, he said to me you have a reservation in your name uh, what is the proof i said to him jibril they opened the gate for me brother so who is there who is it you say what you say jibril you say jibril you get inside the heaven of allah and then jibril he answered jibril and then the guy in the behind the gate he said to him if there is anyone with you look at this see it's not like something easy you open the door as a christian prince he is saying liar it's not that easy there's more questions is there anyone with you that's deep and here you notice that the angel who is behind the gate is smart look he cannot see who is in fight in front of the gate but he can feel it he felt that there is somebody with him so he said to him who is with you jibril said prophet muhammad it's the prophet muhammad by the way if you are wondering like how or where i learned how to draw uh, I'm, I'm sure many of you are wondering like how i do this i can say it's a gift and a curse you know it is something that born with me i do not know what happened it's i think it's a gift brother and uh, it happened you know i i am very good in drawing I hope that all of you one day you will be able to reach my skills in drawing and you open a center that's called Zakir Naik for a drawing center. Brother Sister, Christian Prince, he make of a big thing and he claimed that the Prophet, he did not know how to read. But this is not for the dream. When the Prophet he went to the heaven, he asked the gatekeeper to open the gate and then he had to do him. Who is with you? And this is the proof that it's not easy to get to heaven of Allah. And thank you very much, sister. You get the point there. Okay. And don't even try to ask yourself why the angel behind the gate, he do not know who is with the angel in the front of the gate. At that time, brother Muhammad was not famous. <laughs> Nobody know him. Unbelievable. Like the guy, who, who do you have somebody with you? You idiot, you say somebody with you. You are saying that to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Huh? Somebody with anyone with you? That's it? Do you have an idea you are insulting who? Now? This is anyone. Muhammad is anyone. How dare you? How dare you to say Muhammad is anyone? Especially here at the power of 40 men and boom, boom. He cannot be anyone. He can. He can. He can be any forty. Hmm. Okay. Don't have a free will. Hmm. My Japanese missus 
always laugh at see things like my Japanese missus. What missus mean? What is that, man? Is that a cat name? Do we have any Mohammedan? He don't agree with me in saying. I mean, the story here is really amazing. True story for you, for sure. It's true story. There's no question. <clears throat> then, <coughs> when Jibril he answer, he said yes, like yes, man, yes, with me, Muhammad. Muhammad. What is that here? Hold on. It, there is something I don't understand. Yes, he said to him, yes. Muhammad I is with me what is that Muhammad I mean look like the Muslims they have a new name for the Prophet his name is not Muhammad peace be upon him his name is Muhammad I Muhammad I Muhammad I is with me this is the last name of the Prophet, one letter? <sighs> mm. By the way, you know, yesterday I wasn't alone. I have I with me. Mm -hmm. I mean, always I take I with me. Do we have any Muslim in the text, in the chat? I mean, come on, where, where is the Muhammadan? After I finish my video, you will see the comment. Call me names, coward, liar, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm just reading the screen, brother. We don't have uh, enough admins here today. We have only one. I don't know where is the admins. Do we have admins here? Hmm. Anyone? Your wife, she laughs at Zach and Naik, but she don't understand. My friend, as if they understand. Nobody understand what Zach and Naik is saying. Zach and Naik, he don't talk. He spit. And they're funny. The Muslim, they say to me, your English is funny. It's stupid English. <clears throat> anyway, so he said to him, Muhammad and I is with me. He asked, has he been called? Look at this a drama. Look, it's not easy. It's not easy as you think. The Prophet, he suffer. Right now, as we speak, Prophet is standing in front of the gate. Listen to this silly conversation because, be, between Angel A and Angel B. Okay? Let us make it clear for you. This is Angel A. And this is Angel B. And now Prophet Muhammad is waiting for this stupid silly conversation. The first guy says, open the gate. The other guy says, hey, who is this? Then the guy, he said, this is Jibril. The other guy, he says, okay, who is with you? Do, is there anyone with you? The other guy, he says, yes, uh, Muhammad, I. If I am a prophet and this is happening to me, I will, res I will resign immediately. <sighs> hmm. An angel, they don't have a free will. They do what? Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Guys, just to show you that the, the when Muslims, they, they help, how the Muslims help us. The angel, which Ahmadiyya, John answered you in the comment, the angels don't have a free will. They say what Allah wants to them. 
they are just welcoming they knew Muhammad is there okay that's mean your prophet is a liar first of all if they if Allah told them already who is there why they are asking who is there they don't even know the name of Jibreel if he is there and then as you are as you are saying they knew already look what the story says the story says that the angel said to him has been you know he was called somebody called him to come read he has been he has he been called so Ahmadiyya you are Ahmadiyya I mean the best scenario you are Ahmadiyya my friend which means you are Fufu how they they knew what Allah told them and yet they do not know if he has been called or not and what kind of a gatekeeper he is the last one to know if somebody is called or not obviously there's no connection between Allah and the angels because if Allah is training his angels I mean what is the point of having a gatekeeper if you don't have names of the visitors hello <laughs> stupid story anyway guys the story continue until Prophet Muhammad he passed seven gates and this is true they are seven gates and every gate have a gatekeeper then the story get more complicated Prophet Muhammad he keep going 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 until he pass to the tree there's a tree there it's called Sudratul Muntaha very huge tree you see it a very huge tree you need to walk underneath of it for 100 years I don't know by the speed of the camel or the speed the speed of Arab because we are slower than anything else in the, in the world <clears throat> but here you will see that when Prophet Muhammad he went to the heaven he did not see Allah he did not even talk to Allah how he gave him 50 prayer nobody knows here it says, Jibreel, he took me, etc., blah, 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 blah. And I heard a, cr a creaking of the pins. Creaking of what? Of the pins. If, 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 if. And then Ibn Hazm and Anas, he said, uh, prophet of Allah said then Allah enjoyed 50 prayers on me on my followers how Allah he did that we do not know did Allah speak to Muhammad no how he enjoyed him we do not know when I returned with this order of Allah I passed by Moses Moses I thought Moses is dead Muslims is Moses right now in heaven <laughs> isn't it your prophet said that he is the first one Allah will resurrect in the judgment day So what do you mean Moses is in heaven now? So Moses, he asked me, look, this, uh, let me, let me, uh, okay, let me explain to you the story here, because many of you will not understand the story unless we have uh, uh, like uh, <clears throat> some uh, uh, drawing. So uh, this is a very, thick line hold on prophet muhammad he was returning in the road there is road you know like road 
there's road, you know. In the side of the road, there was a guy sitting. His name is Moshe. This is Moshe. Moshe is sitting in the floor. Those are his legs, okay? This is his legs, you know. Moshe is sitting. Muhammad is walking by. And you know, like Muhammad, you know, Prophet Muhammad, when he walk, uh, he like to uh, sing, you know. This is a Prophet Muhammad. You know. La 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 Oh yeah. Walking down the street. La 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 la. So Muhammad is happy because he got uh, 50 prayer from Allah, you know, and then Musa, without even saying to him, Assalamu alaikum. He don't even say, hello, how are you? You know, no, no, no. He said to him, and read carefully, brother. I passed by Moshe, who asked me, what has Allah? Enjoined your followers. <whistles> la 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 la. Hey 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 la 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 la. What a story! What a story! Here we go. Wherever you go, man, there is a Jew. You go to the seven heaven, there is a Jew. You go down to earth, there is a Jew. You go to the space, Moshe is there. You talk to Allah, you meet Allah, you get out, Moshe is waiting. Uh, you know, but actually the story here is not, I, I have to be honest with you, I did not report the story in a very honest way. Uh, let, me, let me report the story for you in a better way. Because we have to be honest here. I mean, the bottom line is to be honest, okay? So when Muhammad, he says, I returned with Allah order, I passed by Moshe, who he asked me, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi, Khabibi, what agha? He enjoying you, Muhammad. You know, Khabibi? Can you tell me what agha he enjoying you? He enjoying your fagawa? And, uh, you know, uh, Muhammad like was like, what? It was like shocked, you know. Like I mean, put yourself in his uh, in his bum. I mean, his shoes. You are walking down street in the middle of nowhere in the seven galaxy behind the sky where the stars are singing, and he is just he can receive a, 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 a you know and enjoy the a, an order from Allah of a fifty prayer, and from the middle of nowhere there's a Jewish guy. His name is Moshe, and now he's investigating him. And you are telling me why Hamas is exist? I mean, do you blame Hamas to be exist? Here we go, Prophet Muhammad, he went to heaven, the Jews are following him. And not only they are following him, they are questioning the Prophet in heaven. So, Moshe, <coughs> Moshe, because Moshe is old, you know. <laughs> Habibi Muhammad, Habibi. <laughs> Habibi, what, <laughs> what has Allah <laughs> enjoyed your fagawa? I mean, Musa says he cannot go home. He's a Jew. He wouldn't know. He's worried. He's waiting outside. You know, I mean, they cannot change, man. He want to know what happened to the Prophet Muhammad inside the bedroom of Allah. Hmm. <clears throat> I replied <clears throat> he has enjoyed 50 prayer on them <whistles> Moshe he said <laughs> Habibi 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 go back Habibi to your road go back to your road Habibi an appeal for reduction Habibi like what the heck 
a p for reduction go back to your gold and a p for reduction have you ever heard of how nice the Jews are to the Muslims they say the Jews are bad to the Muslims <clears throat> Moshe is worried about the Muslims look go and appeal to your uh, your, your your Lord for a reduction for your forever baby for your forever they will not be able to be read okay they cannot be read so go back to your Lord and ask him Habibi for a discount so I went back to Allah and I requested for reduction like what the heck Muhammad did not even say him no I didn't know if this is right uh, that guy is like a potato Moshe the Jew he said to him go back Muhammad he go back Hmm? Any Muhammadan forget about this Ahmadiyya, he's just trying to take you away from the topic. He's a potato. He don't count for me. He don't dare even to, to, to talk to me. Focus with us in the topic, Ahmadiyya, otherwise I will block you. Don't try to take people from this amazing story, my friend. Any Muslim really, he agree that your prophet was a puppet for the Jews. Even in the heaven, your prophet is a puppet for the Jews. Moshe, he said to him, go back. Muhammad, he go back. Uh, Bridge Ahmadiyya, I will answer you, but I don't want to see you in the text no more. When we Christian, we say God is a three in, in three person because he's almighty. So if you want to explain God, first go try to explain your God, who says if we want to have a partner, we will take it from ourselves. So for us, God, he presents himself as a three person, but he's one God. If you say a three person is impossible, that means God is impossible to be God. For nothing is impossible for God, you idiot. This is why we call him the Almighty. So look how, look how hypocrite you are. When we ask you who is Allah, you do not know. Where is Allah? You do not know. How Allah He said you do not know. What, what, and you know nothing about Allah. The second we, we, we speak about our God, suddenly you have all the questions. You don't dare to ask questions about your God, but suddenly you want to explain to us our God. Not only you don't accept, you want to explain to us who is our God, but yet you know nothing about your God. And this is one of the signs of the stupidity of this cult. They teach you about your God, but they know nothing about their God. And a Muslim, he would decide for you how God he can be. But okay, can we can we ask the same question about your God? How Jesus can be God, but yet he have a body. But your God have a body. <laughs> he have a shin. He have a hand. He have an ass. May Allah ask you. So the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan is beyond imagination. They ask you and they challenge you, refusing things their God have. It's okay for them that their God have, but it's not okay for your God to have. That is the hypocrisy of the stupidity of the Muhammadan. Their God have a body. Their God he forget. Their God, you don't even remember which one he created first. Their God is a stupid. He thinks the women, uh, she have orgasm and that orgasm is a sperm coming from her chest. Their God don't remember which one he created first, the trees or the mountains or the stars. Their God, he think that the man is sperm coming from the backbone. Their God, he think the sun is set in murky water. But he's gone. We don't question him. Gone. So the only problem you have that the Christian believe that God is three person. You know, I try always to go with the logic of the Muhammadan. How come a Muslim he don't question how Jesus have a mother but he don't have a father? Yet he's born from a woman. They don't dare to question. 
But imagine if that story in the Quran did not mention that Mary, she was a virgin. Every Muhammadan will be spitting at you and making fun of you. <laughs> you believe that Mary, she was a virgin. Are you crazy, Christians? But you will never see a Muslim questioning the story. Just because it's written in the Quran. Not because it's convincing. Because the story according to the Quran is not convincing. The story according to the Bible is convincing. For this is the Son of God. But why in the Quran Jesus is born, but yet he don't have a father? No answer. No answer, as usual. Stupidity. Muhammad, he stole the story from the Christian. He put it in his Quran and bingo. And by the way, when the Muslim, they question the Trinity, according to the Quran, Jesus himself is a three and one. See, I don't want to change the topic, but eh, let us do with some spanking. I mean, spanking is good. If we go in the yellow pages of Muhammad, which is called Quran, we will find the following. I'm, I'm just going with the logic of the Muslims, how a three can be one. It's impossible. This is what they say. Okay. So, what about this? <clears throat> and whatever translation you like, we can show you. Chapter 3, verse number 41, 45. Behold, behold, the angels say to Mary, Allah gave thee glad tidings of the word of a word from him. Jesus is a word from God. His name will be the Christ. No, it doesn't say that in Arabic. His name is a Christ, which means already he exists. Okay. So what we have now, we have Allah saying that Jesus is the word of God sent down to Mary. What else? That means Jesus, he was in heaven before he came to earth. He was a word in the mouth of God. This is in the Quran. Hmm? This is in the Quran. In chapter 4, verse 171, things getting more complicated. The Quran says that Jesus is a three person, yet he is one. The Muslim, they will say, it doesn't say that, CP, read carefully. It says, Commit no excuse in your religion, Christ Jesus, son of Mary, and between two brackets was no more than, but this is not exist in the Quran, that's why they put it between bracket. A messenger of Allah, okay, so he's a messenger. What does that mean? He's a man. Okay. He's a messenger as a man. And he is the word of God. And he is spirit proceeding from God. So Jesus is a three in one. He is the word of God. He is a spirit from God. And he is a man as a messenger from God. This is what the Quran is saying. So the stupid trinity in the Quran is as you see. This is the trinity we don't agree with. That Jesus is three and one in the same time. He is a messenger. He is the word. He is the spirit proceeding. So how that can be three and one in the same time? <clears throat> Any Muslim can tell me? From those who say, it's impossible to be three and one. So it is impossible for God to be three and one in the same time, but it's possible to Christ in Islam to be three and one, and how you can be a man and the word and the spirit in the same time. If this is impossible.
if this is impossible. So this is how silly they are. So the Muslim they have the Trinity in their in their own way, and actually this is Islam is a religion of Trinity. Everything they do is a tree. A Muslim, if he take an oath, he have to take an oath three times. If he do ablution, he have to wipe his hand, his face, his ears, his nose three times, uh, his feet, whatever. Uh, uh, if he uh, Muhammad, he used to say Assalamu alaikum, he say it three times. I mean, everything in Islam is three times. Okay, hold on. Look, look what uh, look what this uh, Muhammad and he said. Just to show you how they they try to fool you. Muhammad Qadir. He said. You can be one person and have three roles, but you cannot be three person and one being. You idiot, Jesus have three roles? Jesus have three roles? The spirit is a role? The spirit is a role? The word of God is a role? And let me get you busted. Is it you Muslim believe that the word of Allah is not created? So look what happened here. According to Muhammad, and anyone who believes that the word of Allah is a created, he is a kafir, he is not a Muslim. Actually, he should be killed. So if Jesus is the word of God, that means he is not a created. So he is a person by himself without Allah. Do you understand? <clears throat> the word of God in Islam never created. It exists without Allah. And here, here we have a problem. The Muslim, they say they have one God, but now we have to divine. We have Allah and his words because his word is not created by him. <laughs> so look at this. Jesus is the word of God. And the word of God is not created. So Jesus was exist before his existence on earth as a man. So his coming to the earth was just an appearance of a human being as a messenger. However, he was the word of God before time, for the word of God is created. Number three, he is a spirit proceeding from God. That's mean he is a, his, his spirit is the spirit of God himself. He is not a created spirit. His coming, the spirit is a proceeding ing. So look at the stupidity here. The word of God is not created according to Islam. Jesus, that's mean he is not created because he was word first, which means he was exist by himself without any creation. And then the word who was exist before any without any creation became a man. And then that man, he have a spirit which is a spirit from God. Are you trying to copy what is written in John chapter 1 verse number 14? And the word became a flesh. Exactly. Do you see it, guys? The coward Muhammad is copying John chapter 1, verse 14, where the word became a flesh. Coward and thief. Now we go back to our topic after finish spanking. Shall we? Ta -da 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 -da, da -da -da -da. Back to Moshe spanking Muhammad. So Moshe, he said to Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi, go back to Allah, Khabibi. Khabibi, tell him, Khabibi, that, uh, you know, your father, they cannot follow it, Khabibi. And Muhammad, like a child, like a puppy, he go back to Allah. He don't say, how are you going to go back to Allah? Do you think this is right? No. Moshe, the Jew, he gave Muhammad an order. Muhammad, like a puppy, go back to Allah. Where are you going, Muhammad? Khabibi, Muhammad, where are you going? Allah, he enjoy me. Uh, 50 prayer. 
Musa's, he looked at Muhammad like, what is this fool? What is this strong, this stupid idiot? 50 years, how you can pray 50 times? How in the world you can pray 50 times a day, you man? He's a Jew, Musa, you know, Musa, he start calculating, you know, I'm a Jew, I did me, I'm, I'm very, I have a brain, I, I am very good in mathematics, not like those Arab like me. So, Musa, the Jew, he said to Muhammad, the Arab, Khabibi, Muhammad, <laughs> Khabibi, are you crazy, Khabibi? Go back to Allah, Khabibi, kill him, my people cannot do it, Khabibi. And I appeal for reduction, Khabibi. Your followers, Habibi, will not be able to bear it, Habibi. And here you see the stupidity of this story. Allah, he decided it's 50. The Jew, he said, doesn't work. As simple as that. Correct? If I am not telling the truth, tell me. I'm, this is the story. Allah, he said 50, the Jew, Moshe, he said, doesn't work. Stupid. How in the world this is can be from God? Not only Moshe should be supposedly, according to Islam, dead already, and I don't know what he's doing there, sitting in the middle of nowhere in the highway of Allah, not only the story is a stupid that Allah he gave Muhammad 50 and a Jew whose name is Moshe is correcting Muhammad and correcting Allah. And then Muhammad he went back to Allah. So I went back to Allah and requested re uh, uh, re reduction. Hold on. Muhammad need to go back. Then can't he pray from his time? His pray. Can he? Can't he say Allah, please? Is it Allah? He is all hearing, all seeing. Don't Allah? He see the conversation because be, between Moshe the Jew and Muhammad the Arab. What do you mean? I went back to Allah. Where? Where you went back to Allah? To the office of Allah. Like Allah room in the next door. So I went back to Allah and the request for reduction. And he reduced it to half. Like what? From 40 to 20? Uh, sorry, from 50 to 25? Oh boy. But just to show you how Muhammad is a fraud. He reduced it to what? Be my witness. He reduced it to half give me a second i mean what a big reduction right away half immediately or half i mean uh, yeah because a jew he asked for it Let us see, hold on. Just to show you how the fraud Muhammad, he cannot repeat the same story twice. Look with me carefully. He went back to Allah and what happened? After Musa says to him, your followers cannot bear it. So I went back to Allah. He requested reduction and he reduced it to half. To what? Half. It was what? It was 50. You see? It was 50. So what is the prayer now? 25. 25. Okay. Read here with me. <coughs> One of the signs of somebody he is a fraud that he cannot repeat a story about him twice correctly. So when he saw Musa's, uh, 
Uh, this is not the height I want. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, here, no, it doesn't say how much. It is, it is, it is fine, different height. Okay. Mm. Ah, here we go. Hold on. Yeah. That, will, that will do. Okay. Where it says, so he went Allah. So the Prophet turned to Jibreel and he went to consult with him. An issue. Look here, he he consult with the Jibreel here in the story, uh, and Jibreel told him his opinion and saying to him, if you wish. <laughs> so Jibreel is candid with him. To the risible and said while he is in this place lord please lighten my burden and as my followers cannot and then he reduced it he detected for him 10 prayer do you see it yeah do you see it says 10 prayer but in the other hadith it says right away when he went there allah he gave him half protection which means in that hadith the prayer became 25 right away here it became 40. Do you see it? How this is going to be a prophet of God? He cannot repeat the, this fiction, stupid story twice correctly. One, he says, Allah reduced it to a half, which means we came at 25, and then he reduced it more. The numbers are different. And not only that, in every hadith mention about this story, you will see different numbers. And here you will notice that Musa is correcting Allah and telling him that this is wrong. If you are a Muslim, you are listening. Can you tell me what is the point of this story? Do Allah, you must tell you say that Allah, he knew everything. <clears throat> so why Allah gave Muhammad 50 prayer? If it doesn't work. What is that? What is this? About? And why Allah made Musa says to him, go back to Allah. What this, is, this comedy is about? What we learn from this? That we can negotiate with Allah to reduce the prayer? That Allah, he do not know that 50 prayer is a stupid order. That's impossible. Because simply, if I want to pray 50 prayer. Let us say you sleep 8 hours. That means you have 16 hours a day. And then you are going to pray 50 times. Huh? You are going to pray 50 times in those 16 hours. How you can do it? Any Muslim can tell me? How we can do 50 prayer in 16 hours? Guys, what is the number will be? If we divide, and this is if you don't eat, if you are not going to, you have 16 hours, you know, because we can take the time for food, for work, for uh, sex with wife, I mean, a human being, you have a lot of work to do. So if, if we assume we have 16 hours left, how we can pray 50 times and take, take a note that the Muslim, when he pray, he have to do ablution, he have to put water in his head, not to wash, but just wipe his, his hair, his ears, his nose, his, it take him 15 This is stupid. And then the one who is correcting Muhammad, God, is Moshe the Jew. 
He keeps saying to Muhammad, go back to Allah and ask him for redemption. And then Muhammad, he go back and he say, Allah, please. And then Allah, he reduce it. And then Allah, he ask again. And Allah, he reduce it. And Allah, uh, uh, I mean, look at this comedy. Go back, coming back, coming back, go back, go back, coming back, coming back, go back, coming back, go back, go back, come back, 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 back. Go back, come back, work back, back, work back, work back, work back, 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 back. This is God. And then finally, I return to Allah and He said, This is our five prayers. Yeah, too much hashish. Too much hashish. From 50 prayer to 5 prayer. You know, Muhammad, why you don't go one more time back to Musa's? He will say to you, go back to Allah, you will get zero prayer. If you can, because what you did, you took one zero from the front of number five. One more time, you will take the whole five and you pray nothing. So how this is can be from God? Guys, I want to remind you before we finish for today uh, that tomorrow is a Friday and usually in a Friday we go in the other account which is called the quality of life. Don't forget to join us there. All right. In quality of life, we speak about the quality stuff and the topic can be different. It can be about uh, your mother-in-law, Corona or something else. Uh, so if you like to join us there, you can find the, the, the post in Patreon. The admin can post the link for you. So you find the, the page, uh, my other account, and you can join us. And uh, you're welcome if you like to. There we don't discuss anything about Islam. We have different topics, totally different. So just to let you know. Let us say we take a break from the from this garbage. All right, so tomorrow we will be there. It's a Friday in Indonesia. That's a miracle. Don't tell Muhammad because Muhammad, he think it's a Friday everywhere in the same time. This is why Muhammad, he said in the Hadith that Allah, he come every day, descend every day uh, in the third part of the night. Do you see it? Allah, he come every day in the third part of the night and he ask, who is worship me? Because Muhammad, he think, there's only one time zone and everybody have the same timing. Yeah, the admin, thank you, Tapi, she is posting for you the link for the quality of life. You can click on it and you can subscribe. And if you already subscribe, you can don't forget to unsubscribe because that will give you a blessing from Allah. For Allah, He don't like Christian Prince. So if you unsubscribe, you know, if you subscribe to Christian Prince, Allah will be upset. Then Allah said in the Quran that if you do good deed, Allah will double you that do good deed. So okay, you made a bad deed by subscribing. If you unsubscribe, Allah will give you two deeds instead of the one you lost. So now you have a tool to deed more. And that will be fantastic, brother. Alhamdulillah. <clears throat> Who is here first time? How many of you first time? I don't want to say the first time thing. You know, first time I went to the top, in the top of a mule to the seven heaven. It was really difficult, by the way, because I was not able to breathe I, because there's no oxygen. Yeah, I have to tell you the truth. There's no oxygen. But Zibril, brother, he gave me oxygen. Prophet Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven. What he saw in the way, he saw seven gates. He did not see the earth is round. He did not see how the shape of the earth, no, he see the seven gates there. Hmm. True story. <clears throat> A 
Nobody here is first time. Look like I have only old customers here. I'm going to close this restaurant, man. All right. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan have anything to say? Anyone? Any Muhammadan he have anything to say? Somebody saying his name is TC. If Jesus' body died, did Jesus really die? I mean, you are a genius, man. Guys, look at this. Look at this. This guy, I think he took him 10 years to come with this question. If Jesus' body died, did Jesus really die? My friend, I advise you not to get married. Because you sound like somebody have a lot of gas and he opened his mouth, he say nothing. I mean, what does this mean if Jesus died and his body is dying? Either he's dead or he's not. How do you say he's died, but are you saying he's dead, but he's not dead? I am dead, but not dead. Because I look dead. But I am not dead because I look dead. Are you a Jehovah's Witnesses? Jehovah's Witnesses like they are Muhammad. They witness to no one. They saw nothing but they are witnesses. Stupidity is amazing. Hmm? You should see Jehovah's Witnesses. I saw them in France. I chased them. Actually, last time I, I, I did not. Uh, they did not talk to me. This is a different group, not, not the one I, I post a video about. I, I I don't know what I said to them. They run. They escape. I forgot really what I said to them. I think they get terrified. They think they, they look, because I know I look like an I look like an Arab. Well, I am an Arab. What's wrong with you? I look like an uh, uh, yeah Arab terrorist. So the, the, I talk to them. I don't know what I said. They psh, they are gone. <clears throat> uh, uh, see how CP if at fact Jesus really died for sure. Jesus really died. You idiot. You're stupid. <laughs> All the Christian will say they died. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm I'm laughing at your stupidity. All the Christians believe that Jesus he died. And you are stupid because you're asking the Christian did Jesus die well all the Bible says yes he died this is why it's called Resur Re do you know what resurrection you idiot so how we believe in resurrection if he did not die don't come back here without your parents please okay no kids how we believe in in, in resurrection God does not die exactly. God don't die. This is why we Christian we believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, right? So the flesh, Jesus. When you say did Jesus die? Jesus, when you say Jesus, who? What Jesus mean? Jesus is the Son of Man, as described in the Bible, who came in the flesh. That is the person who died. And resurrection is the proof of the power of God. That nobody can cause God to disappear. So he overcome, overcome death by death. So he go to death, but no grief can contain him. So if you are saying, well, Jesus is God and God don't die. Well, no, that, but if he came in the flesh, the flesh die. So you are confused, my friend. You are, you are saying... That because God don't die, then Jesus must be was not dead because he's God. Alright? No. The flesh of a human being, Jesus, he bleed. He bleed like all of us. A blood and water came out. He suffered. This is the suffer of the flesh of the man. So yes, the flesh died. 
So when you say and you mean your question, it's very silly, it's very stupid of you. Because the Bible confirmed that Jesus Christ, he died. Anyway, we are not here to, uh, to discuss stupidity. Uh, you know, people, they come with their own fantasy. Uh, all, all people, they knew what the Christian believe. You see, Jesus said, before Abraham I am. What does that mean? That means my existence have nothing to do with the existence of the flesh you see. They said to him, well, how, how Abraham, he saw your day, before Abraham you are, you know, how, how, how that, you're not even 50 years old. He says, truly I say to you that Abraham, not only he saw me, he rejoiced for my day when he saw me. So, the existence of Jesus from birth is the appearance of Jesus Christ, the, 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 the visible image of the invisible God. So what die is, Jesus the Christ in the flesh. Anyway, they try to take us away from our topic, but it doesn't hurt to spank them, Jehovah's Witnesses. Any Mohammedan have anything to say? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Hey, Horizon, don't ask me to sing, my friend. I'm not here to do, uh, you know, comedy for you. Any Muhammadan? Vicky, you used to my, my pal talk room? Thank you. Okay, welcome, Vicky. Good to have you. Anyone? Not even one Mohammedan, what happened? Huh? Where was Jesus from the 12th till the 18th? Uh, you, you mean there is no information in the Bible about him? Yeah, because simply the information which is for us is important. You see, when, when we say the Bible reports for us the story of Jesus, it doesn't mean everything Jesus, he did, is there. Because simply, the disciples, they were not with Jesus. So how they can witness for something they did not see? The disciples, they uh, witnessed to what they saw. And what the way they saw, this is after they became disciples. So you're asking when Jesus before at that time, where is the information? Because it's not meant to, 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 uh, to be important for us. Otherwise, going to be there. Unless you want the disciple to witness to Jesus when they were not with him. And that would be a false witnessing. <clears throat> if everything God he did is going to be written in a book that's mean we need millions of books to tell us what God he did right when Jesus says Matthew 6 22 the light of the body is is, is the eye is is therefore then okay hold on you see the text move fast i cannot even read the question uh what did he mean exactly you know i i don't know like you know uh, i don't know how old are you but if this verse does not uh it's not clear for you i mean what is it clear for you isn't it you? You see light through your your eye? I mean, where do you see the light? You see it from your finger? So the light come to us from the eye and based on this, all our body function. 
I don't know. Sometimes I, I I wonder how people they I don't know. You can't read. If you are walking now in the street, you walk based on what? Based on the light come to your eyes. And what does that mean? Your body make decision. All your body, your feet, your hands, your direction based in the light you see with your eye. So the light of the body is coming from the eye. For you are guided by that light. But the the the, the funny I, I see that people they are, you know, they want to go blind and they want to make something complicated when the Bible is so simple. Actually, this is a very clear uh, evidence that people who they question, they question, I mean, they, 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 they try to be silly as much as they can. If this one need explanation, and what you see, what you do, as an example, if you read this, the rest of the chapter, you will see in the verse, and I will give you an example. Let me actually let me let me find the verse uh, from the Bible and read together. <laughs> the I, my friend, is you how you cite things, and that citation will be translated in your brain to do or not to do. As an example, when I see a naked woman, when I see a naked woman, if the I is seeing the nakedness. In a way, that nakedness will affect the person, all his body. So it depends on the way you see the nakedness, and I will make it clear for you, even if you are slow. Let us say you enter a bedroom, and you see your mother, she is naked. Is that going to affect you? No. Are you going to get horny? No. Let us say you went to the bedroom of your daughter and your daughter is totally naked, changing her clothes. She just did shower. You open the, ro the door without knocking and she is naked. So if your eye is evil, you will see evil. You will, you will wish to have your daughter because you are, you are a person with evil eye. So light, come to your eye. And that light depend in the eye. If the eye is an eye of a good person, a decent man, it doesn't matter what he see, he will see good. If an evil man is an evil man, it doesn't matter what he see, he will see bad and he will do bad. And if a verse like this need explanation, I don't know what is it clear for you in your life? You know, you know, like uh, people they talk about nakedness, etc. It's how you look at the nakedness. You know, if you don't see, if you don't see it as in the way you want to see it, then you will not get excited. As simple as that. It's all in the brain. It's like a thief. And a good guy. Will both of them they see the jewelry? But one of them want to steal it, and the other one he don't just let just look, or he want to buy it. So the light come to your eye, and you see everything around you. But your eye, if it is evil eye, you see it as evil. Very amazing, nice wisdom. Yeah, in my area we have a lot of motorcycle. Yeah. Actually, my city is called Motorcycle City. You can search it on the map. Where are you? Guys, if a motorcycle go in the street, where are you? I mean, what's wrong with you? Do you think I live in the in, in, in the Seven Galaxy? A hey, motorcycle went in the room. Here we go. Everybody want to say, you have motorcycles? Is my city the only town in the world have motorcycles? I mean, the funny, most of them, they are from Asia and they are asking me, you have motorcycle there. As if it's a crime, man. 
No, we don't have motorcycle. We shoot them, brother. New people, you ask questions. It's really beyond, beyond the imagination. Oh, boy. Curiosity. <clears throat> so, anyway, today what we learn that Islam teaching you that you cannot question God. You cannot dare to question God. And then suddenly we find that Muhammad is asking for a reduction of a prayer. How you can question God? You cannot in Islam. They will kill you. Moshe and Muhammad, they change history. Moshe, the Jew, is the one who decides how many prayers you must and you pray. By negotiating with Allah, using the puppy Muhammad, How everything is written in the book of Allah? How everything is decided already? What the point? If Allah he wrote already, you will pray five prayers. So what, what this is about? Isn't it everything you do in Islam? There's no free will? There's no free will. So what this conversation is about? This conversation is simply Allah speaking to Allah. Because Allah he made Musa says if you ask any Muslim he will say to you Allah he made Musa say those words to Muhammad okay and then Allah he made Muhammad say those words to Allah okay and then Allah make Allah say this uh, order to Muhammad so what the point uh, X I, I don't have time for a stupidity my friend the Bible speak in parable for donkeys or for for smart people obviously you are a donkey when when the Bible says everything the Lord he spared in parable that's mean this is not literal and I just give you an example you are a stupid idiot the brain is not in the eye an atheist making poo, poo the brain is not it's not the eye get lost This is a book of wisdom and parable. Everything you see in that chapter, your donkey, is a parable. Everything. God or money, fasting, all those are parable. And you can find how many times the word parable mentioned in the Bible. This is parable, you idiot. So people, they might understand easy. It's not uh, I, it's the go to the brain and the single in the brain. He translate the information and then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was your pity. So you want God to say to them, the single of your eye, the light go to your brain and then your brain, he will analyze the information. And I'm talking to who? I'm talking to a villager who do not, hardly he knew his, how to write his name. You know, I mean, stupidity is amazing. The Bible is very simple, written for everybody. The educated who have a PhD and the one who have no knowledge, including not to know how to write his name. This is not a book of science. This is the book of wisdom and meaning. This is about spiritual thing, guidance. It's not about how your body function. Literally. But if you are a fool, stay as a fool. We don't want you here. And who is asking you to believe in Christianity? Christianity is funny for you, isn't it? Why you are here? Why you are coming to bother us? Stupid. Go believe in killing babies, abortion. Huh? Worship it. Be uh, whatever you want. Everything in that chapter is amazing, actually. And you will see there, they are, the, the whole Bible is speaking about evil and good. In science, there's nothing that's called evil and good, you donkey. So how you, why you are mixing that together? The whole chapter is about good and bad. So what science have to do with this?
it is insulting for you as a human to think in such a way because look what you do you decide to be stupid in purpose to insult a Christianity supposedly so you deleted your brain you know that this is a book teaching about bad and good this is not a book of chemistry so when God he says to you the light of the eye, the light of the body is from the eye suddenly you want to make a story about no the light go let, let me uh, hold on let me hold on let me help you brother let us attack a Christianity together hold on hold on Oh boy. When a human being is an atheist, simply is a person who decides to be a donkey. This is how I see it. So this is what you want. You want God, Jesus now, when he talked to us about the I, brother, he should say the following. Here, we have a liquid. I hope that will satisfy you. We will change the Bible for you, brother. Here, brother, we have a liquid, brother. And that liquid, brother, act like magnifier. And then, brother, there is a nerve here or a vein, brother. And then, brother, the light comes from here and hit here. And then, brother, the light go from the lid and go to the brain. And then, brother, it go back from the brain and give order. Is that what you want Jesus to say? All of this to tell you about the bad and evil? The verse is very simple. The eye is the window of light. This is where light comes to you. And what you see in your eye, which means what your eye see, is what you do based on how what what kind of eye you are have you ever heard of science speaking about bad eye and good eye this is science bad eye is about good and bad the human being if he's good or he's bad so the bad one he have a bad eye he see evil stuff because simply he's thinking about evil so in fact you are a donkey to the point you do not know that the verse mentioned that this is about the brain because he is thinking about evil. He want to do evil. His eyes see, yet what he see nothing to do with what he will do. But because his brain is an evil brain, he is thinking evil way. He do what evil is. Or the opposite. So if your eye is good, this is what the Bible says, if you have a good eyes, good eyes in what? Like you can see ten from ten, no. Which means you have a good you are a good person. The eye are the light of the body, the lamp of the body. So if your eye are good eye, decent eye, righteous eye, all your body will be fulfilled with light. And if your eye are evil eyes, what this have to do with science? I want you to go to the university and find me which doctor he taught you that there is evil eye and good eye. Isn't it obvious that this is a metaphorical, you idiot? If you are a female and you ever think to marry an atheist, I advise you to marry a monkey because it's easier to explain to a monkey from an atheist. Actually, once I was debating an atheist, he won the argument. He said to me, Christian Prince, do you like banana? I was honest. I said, yes, I like banana. He said, see, your origin is a monkey. This is the logic of an atheist. Do you remember that guy with his name? What his name, the atheist, who a Muslim, he became an atheist. When I say to him, the Bible says that the, 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 the earth looked like a... Uh, like, uh, uh, a globe uh, I said actually actually I said a, a circle you know I'm just using a translation you know the, the, the easiest way he said but the, the circle is a flat I mean look at this funny circle is not a flat for simply is not exist 
This is virtual. This we're talking about a sheep. Stupidity. Suddenly, an atheist who knew what circle is, he claimed that circle is a flat. Why is it a surface of something? Is it something physical? A circle is a shape. We are talking about the shape. Yeah, Abdullah Samir, you know, potato. Suddenly, the circle is a flat. But did, did I give you a flat surface? I'm talking about the shape. The fact that when you have a ball, it is many, 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 many circles. So when I say circle, I'm just giving you the shape. What do you want to say to me? Say to you, 360 circle. How would you share the gospel with a Muslim co-worker in a place where gay people are celebrated and Christianity is cursed? I mean, who cares about what is a gay celebrated or not? Say, say the truth. Share, share the truth, my friend. Like now, get them busted. Get them busted. You know, once I was, I was, and this is in the Philippines. There was one a Christian person and a bunch of Filipino atheists with him in the table. They are very close to me. I hear all the conversation. So they said to him, in the Discovery Channel, they said, in the Discovery Channel, they said, whatever, Discovery or History, whatever. So I said to them, okay, do you watch in the same TV? A program is called, I, I, you know, I said, can I join you in conversation? You know, he said, sure, sure, yeah, you know. So I said, as long as you go by this history channel and discovery channel, did you watch in this TV a program called Hunted House? This is what? Hunted House. Did you watch the program called Hunted House? They said, yeah, yeah, we, we saw it. I said, okay. As long as this is a science TV you have, do you really believe in haunted house and there is haunted spirit so how come this is your science tv which you are debating this person to prove your point is the same tv which is teaching you or making you believe that there is evil spirit inside this house and there's a bunch of guys with x-ray cameras They are going to examine it and they want to record their voices. So those atheists, when they want, they are scientific when they want. When they want, they are not. It's up to the, what they wish. Share the truth wherever you go, my friend, and don't worry about what people say. Just be smart. Don't say things which is not right, you know. Don't do what the Muslims do, uh, get angry and do death threat and, you know. Be smart, educated, get them busted from their own logic. You know, an atheist, when he debate you, he like to see himself in the mirror. He don't see you. He don't see you. So when you talk, you are not there for him. He prefer to see somebody repeat the same he say he agree with him. They are not used to see somebody get them and busted. They are mirror people. So they attack Christianity in a society where everybody agree to attack Christianity, but they are a bunch of stupid and, and, Okay, who is an atheist when attack Christianity right now? I'm here. Who is who is a smart atheist he when attack Christianity? I just to give you an example, life example. Who is an atheist when attack Christianity? Anyone? Just give me something. Tell, tell me something. You are an atheist.
Anyone? Give me an answer. Give me a question. Here we go. You know, atheists who want to give me an question. Just to show you stupidity. Just use their logic. They are the same as Muslims. They are exactly the same as the Muslims. Use their logic. They die. They die logically. As an example, how many times you heard the atheist saying to you, do you know about the crusade? You, you eat it. If, if not the crusade, if not the crusade, you will be a Muslim today, all of you atheists. And you will be forced to worship Allah and to, to, burn, to, to bend down your ass five times a day. It is the crusade who saved your ass. Do you know what the crusade? What do you want the crusade? The Muslims, they attacked us and the crusade attacked back. What do you want the crusade to do? I never saw an atheist who don't attack the Christians saying the crusade. But the crusade, they were not attacking the Muslim. It was the opposite. It is the Muslims who attacked the Christians, took their cities and their towns. There was 600 years missing in the history of a Christianity where there's no crusade. Did you ask yourself why? Crusade happened after Islam, you donkey. After Islam attacked and took Jerusalem. It is not the Christians who went all the way to Mecca and say, hey, we are crusade, convert to Christianity or die. But every single idiot, he called himself an atheist, he mentioned the crusade. When the fact it was the Muslim crusade who started all of this, and we were just defending ourselves. Stupidity is their law. Stupidity is their logic. Ignorance. Go read history. If not the crusade, all of Europe now will be Mohammedan. And you will be the slave of Osama bin Laden. And your wife, she will be wearing burqa and you are not allowed to eat pork. Which means if not the Christians, you yourself now, you will be under slavery of Islam. It was the Christians who saved you from their blood. So if you are smart, if you have decency, little decency, you should speak about the Crusades as the heroes who saved your history and your future. If not the Crusade, you will not have internet. Why? Because you have a freedom. The Mohammedan will take your freedom. Go and see what's happening in their countries. Go to Erdogan. Erdogan who beat, you know, he, he trained the refugee every day. Any country he get upset from them, I will open the door, refugee on the on you. So they will get him money. This is the this is the Mohammedan what they will do to you. If not the crusade, the Mohammedan, the Turkish will be taken all over Europe. And until now they want Europe and they will do their best to take it and have it. Atheist. When they speak to you about any topic, they don't speak to you. They speak to themselves. They are not even listening. You say to an atheist, killing babies is not okay. Killing abortion is, 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 is bad. And look at this hypocrisy of those atheists. They defend animal rights. Don't build the wall. Don't build the wall. This is, uh, this is disgusting. Build the wall. Trump is building the wall. But they want to kill babies. A woman she die in the immigration center. Don't build the wall. Don't build the wall. But they are killing thousands of babies every day. That is their quality. Trump is bad. He's racist. He built a wall. Okay, here we go. Corona is coming. Open the wall. Open the wall, please. <laughs> open the wall. Let us get all Corona all over. Please, Trump, open the wall. You stupid Trump, why you don't open the wall? Open the wall for them in Los Angeles. I call it Los Angeles. Don't you open the wall? Okay, open the wall. 
they attack the guy because he put sanction after corona for some country to come open the wall let let them come to california Bashar al-Assad to all. Gibran, take a hike. Bashar al-Assad, this one is missing. You have no asset, my friend. You have a cat. If not the Russian, you are history. Here we go, another example. This guy is Syrian. He's a Christian. But he liked Bashar al-Assad because simply he is, uh, you know, he is fighting the terror. The fact the one who is making this guy exist is the Russian. If not the Russian, Erdogan will eat you alive. This is another example of hypocrisy in this world. Like now, the war in Syria, uh, Erdogan is supporting terrorists. Putin is spanking Erdogan. The Muslims, even the, the city Christian, they say, Bashar al-Assad, he is the hero. Bashar al-Assad is a potato. It is Putin, my friend. The one who saved your ass is Putin. Go and make a statues for him. Not Bashar al-Assad, the donkey. If not Putin, you will be shish kebab, all of you. The same as the crusade. If not the crusade, you will be shish kebab, all of you in Europe. Stupidity is amazing. The earth is not a ball. Read the Bible. Stop worshipping NASA. Okay. Well, we did read the Bible, my friend. Get lost. And the, the Bible does not say the ball. The Bible says a globe. The sphere of the earth. You get busted again. And not only that. The Bible says the earth is hanged on nothing. It took you thousands of years to find that we are in empty space. The Bible says that the earth is hanged on nothing. Do you know what nothing means? On nothing. And is like a globe. What it took you thousands of years, you atheists believe that the earth is flat. By the way, you are the one who believe earth is flat. Because all those scientists who used to be atheists, for a certain time they believe the earth is flat. While in the Bible, thousands of years before those donkey atheists, it says that the earth is like a globe and hanged on nothing. So it took you a couple of thousand of years to come after the Bible to discover that the Bible is saying the truth. And you cannot find where in the Bible it says the earth is like a, 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 a bowl. And by the way, there's no perfect circle anyway. Even the word circle is not perfect because there is no perfect circle. Stupidity. I mean, look at look at the stupidity. So, and here you notice the lie. Once they say the earth, the Bible says the earth is flat. And now, suddenly, uh, the Bible is wrong. The Bible says the earth is bold. <laughs> they changed the lie. They changed the lie from the earth is a flat to the to the, to the earth is a bowl. You see how the, the how many times we heard the atheist saying that the Bible says the earth is a flat. Suddenly the old lie is doesn't work. The Christians is getting their busted. So let's, let's go with a different lie now. Actually, not even the best computer he can make a perfect circle. It's not. This is this is some, something virtual. Anyway, uh, NASA. Stop worshiping NASA. We, we we know we believe in the Bible, my friend. We don't believe in NASA. Who said we believe in NASA? The NASA, NASA teach the Big Bang. This is another stupid lie you said. None of us believe in NASA. NASA is teaching that there is a Big Bang. I believe that the Big Bang is in your head. Not in my book.
Anyway, guys. Uh, hey, Trump, how are you, Trump? And by the way, here, uh, I, I, I'm not defending Trump, by the way, but in, in America, in America, hypocrisy is something normal, the same as any other country. Like you see, America, the good thing about it, there's a lot of freedom, etc. But number one business in America for in politics is hypocrisy. As an example, Trump supporting Erdogan in Syria. I mean, how do you support Erdogan in Syria? This guy is supporting Al Qaeda. Why? Just because he's opposing Iran. Anyone is against Iran, we will support him. The same stupid mistake America did during the time of Osama bin Laden. They supported them and then they did 9 11. The stupid Trump, he is doing the same stupid mistake, hypocrite, supporting Erdogan in Syria, which is supporting Al Qaeda. The same mistake. If you have little decency, you should support Russia to finish all Al Qaeda in Syria. Since when Al Qaeda is our friends? Always they are our friends because we use them. They are fighting Iran right now, they are fighting Hezbollah. So now they are good. We will not kill them. We will let them stay in Syria. This is the whole point. So those people, they don't present Christianity. They present only hypocrisy. They are liars. They are false. But for me as a Christian, I have no choice but to vote for Trump. Let us say he is the best liar between the other liars. All of them, they are donkeys. This guy is a mule. At least this guy is against abortion. At least this guy, he gave more freedom to the Christians. At least this guy, he, he demolished everything Obama, he tried to, to cancel uh, the war, the Christmas. This is why we vote for him. Otherwise, he's a liar like the rest. Lying is his business. All of them, they are liars. Democrat, uh, Republican, it doesn't matter. But we as a Christian, we have no choice. The one who is against abortion, we have to vote. We have one of two. One, he votes for abortion. One, he votes for no. Okay, we will go with the no. You know, we go with our value, not with the person. And the person, we cannot make him match our value 100% because he is not controlled by me. Exactly, he is not saying Trump, he's Trumpy. But, you know, I'm glad that Trump, he is, you know, he demolished all their garbage. You see, whatever garbage he have, his garbage is way better than their garbage. I mean, those, did you see those who they came to election? I mean, look at those donkeys, they put them in the, in the, in the stage. Those, they will be, one of them, they will be a president. Or like Joe Biden, you know, this guy, he don't remember the, the, the name of the person he's talking to. So if Joe Biden, he called me, he will say, okay, I, I agree with you, James. Uh, Joe, uh, my name is a Christian Prince. Uh, yeah, I, Jack, I agree with you, uh, uh, Joe uh, Biden. My name is a uh, Christian Prince. You know, David, uh, 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 Joe Biden, hold on. Uh, my name is a Christian Prince. Yeah, yeah, I understand, you know. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, Mr. Charles, it, this is not really what we are talking about. It, uh, Biden, it, this is not my name, man. This guy, he cannot hold two information together for two seconds. He start talking about tomato and then he, like, he stop. His electricity, the electricity in his, electricity in his head is stop. I mean, from all those people who they are Democrat, you could not find find somebody wanna want to go against Trump except except this idiot who is, whose battery is off. I mean, what's wrong with those people? This guy, his brain battery is off. His brain battery was off when he was young, not now. This is why I call him Joe Biden. <clears throat> this is the truth. And now those idiots, they got this guy to go against Trump. For sure he will be demolished. Oh boy, 
actually i should uh, i should make a special uh, topic about this election thing it is it is hilarious when i listen to those debates i'm really it's like a bunch of dogs in the stage oh, 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 you know and you should see the silly question how how important the question is like uh, what you will do with health care I will give health care for all. We hear this since you were a kid and we never get the health for all. I mean, every election we hear it. I mean, come on, learn from the Arab how to do lie. I mean, your lie became so big. I will give, uh, you know, health for all. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, this is what Obama, he said. Everything they say is a joke. It's election, you know. It's a it's a joke. And those Americans like, yeah, this guy he will do it. Aha! Uh -huh. At least Trump, everything he said, this guy he did. Everything this guy, you know, this funny guy, really everything he said he did. He said they want to build the wall. He built the wall. He said <laughs> whatever he say he do. <laughs> he will force China to sign a deal. He signed. He made them deal. He said I will move the embassy to Jerusalem. He did. Not a single thing he said he did not do. The Democrat for 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 their history, they never do something they say. Yeah, but there is no election in this election. I mean, uh, you know, you know what? The election of Iran is not too much different from the election in America. Why? In Iran, the Khomeini. He uh, the 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 one the mullah the big mullah the what Khamenei he is the one who choose who is going to be in the election. Well, this is the same. You have two parties. They are in control, sponsored by the billionaires, and they are the one who choose who you you are going to elect. So now look what happened. We are not electing from America. We are electing from two. Why only two? Because the others, nobody will support them and they don't have money and they don't have etc. So there is no election really. Especially if both of them, they are just two faces of one coin, which is usually always happen. Democrat and Republic was nothing but one coin have two faces. This guy Trump, he break it. He is not the other face of the coin. That's why they don't like him. That's why the the, the 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 Republican they hate him too. All those big names you see this uh, John McCain he died, he went to hell. Uh, uh, what his name Graham? This Graham he was number one enemy to Trump, but then he noticed that Trump is uh, getting the, the 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 love of the public, so he started to decide to switch and to support Trump. Hypocrites, all of them. Graham he used to attack Trump day and night. Since the day he was elected, Trump he became more popular. Graham he said to himself, "You know what? If I don't go with him, he will. You know, I will lose." All of them they hate him. All those they call themselves senators and the Republican they hate him. He destroyed their dreams. Anyway, uh, and Darani, you love me? Okay, and Darani, let us get married. Let us get married and have uh, a, a Christian Prince Junior 1, Junior 2, Junior 3. I mean, why girls, they say to me, I love you in the chat, but nobody say it to me in real life. I mean, it's not even fair. Question to Allah. Uh, this is a question not to you. This is a question to Allah. Why a girls they say to me in the chat, I love you, but nobody said to me in real life. Anyone knows the secret, brother? I mean, what is the what is behind this? What is behind this? I want to know, brother. Isn't it time for me to get married? And somebody says to me, I love you and read. Each time I go to see a girl, she's she run away. She said, No, I do not know. No, no, no I did not text you or any. No, not not me. Oh no, you are wrong. This is not me. I mean, what, what happened? She just saw my face. Uh, no, no, I, no. 
Are you Jessica? No, I'm not. Uh, actually, my name is uh, Monica. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Wrong person, exactly. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Do we have anything? Anyone? Any Muslim? We love you indeed. Yeah, right. I'm really convinced. Most of the women admired your Habibi. That's a true story. That's true. I mean, it's, you know, I, I think it's good to watch Indian movies. You know, in Indian movies, everybody is a crying. Romantic story. Always Indian movies, by the way, you will notice there is a guy. He's a poor guy. And the girl, she is a daughter of a rich guy. And then the guy... He met the, the daughter of the rich guy. And then they became in love. And then he suffered to marry her. I mean, you know the Indian movie before even you start watching. Actually, Indian movies, they remind me of Arab movies, where you hear the sound of the box before the box, 15 minutes before the box time. You know, in, in, Arab, in Arab movies, honestly, you hear the box like, Bish! but there's nobody is beating anyone yet. I mean, who, who, what happened there? You know? Where is the sound that's coming from? And then, the, like 15 minutes after, you will see the, the supposedly the Arab hero is 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 boxing the Turkish hero. You know, boom. Yeah, this is an Arabian movie, and all of them they have the same end, and they have the same actors. And all in the movies, there is people dancing. I, why? I have no idea. Like suddenly, the guy is going to see the girl in the park. Suddenly, 5,000 people appear from the middle of nowhere and they are dancing. Oh, how this happened? There's no need for introduction, brother. <laughs> I mean, don't speak to my mind. Speak to my eye. You know, there's no need for introduction. Okay, the guy supposedly is going to meet with his love in the, in, in the park. Where are those seven, eight thousand people, dancers, they come from? There's no need for explanation. It's an Indian movie. Hello? With my love to the Indian, but I'm not making fun of... But this is, I mean, this is amazing, I know. <laughs> but this is the story is always, in not, not only the Arab movies, the... Uh, Egyptian movies, Indian movies, we look like we are all in the East, we have the same mentality, and we learn not to question how those things happen. It just happened. It's entertainment. Hello? <laughs> so imagine you are going to see a girl you are, you are going to date, and then from the middle of nowhere, her voice became so nice, and she starts singing, and then there is 6,000 people wearing whatever, you know, and they are dancing with you. True story. And I'm really convinced. It happened. It happened all the time. You know? Indonesia and they love Indian movies. Yeah, because of the songs. Actually, there's many, many people they love Indian movies because of the songs and etc. But uh, but what the song have to do with the movie? And where do those dancers are coming from? Don't use your brain. Let it in the shelf before you enter the movie. <laughs> Not only in the movie, by the way, American movies is more horrible because, you see, at, at these Indian movies, they speak to your emotion. It's emotional, you know? It's like a lovely thing. Uh, but American movies are serious. And there's a guy, he have a gun. And then he jumped from a building to a building. And then the building is so far, but who care? In American movie, you, he can jump. Come on, he's an American. He can jump. He can jump even 50 meters away. 
but there is too much height between them like one is five floor the other one is eight floor it's okay he can jump he's an american hello like hello this is an american movie and then the guy he go and he start shooting and everybody shooting at him and the, the al-qaeda brother they are shooting at the american soldier and al-qaeda shooting like and then the american soldier he put his head up he shoot one he go down he get down. each time he shoot a bullet he kill one but he don't get injured you know so american movies are not too much different from indian movies it's just different style of uh, story you know but it's the same <laughs> Actually, some American movies are even more hilarious because let us say you get shot in the right shoulder, you know, and then like uh, the, the, the director, he says, stop, you know, to do action, whatever, like to do makeup. And then they go in the second scenery and then they forgot where to put the blood. But in the two minutes ago, he was shot in the right shoulder. In the second scene, he is in the left shoulder. Like, hello? But don't use your brain, nobody will notice. It's American watching. When American watch, nobody care, you know? So he shot in the wrong shoulder, left shoulder, who care? He was shot, hello, right? Yeah, and then the guy, he was like, he bomb explode, if he fly in the wind, everybody die, and then he stand up, he says, I'm back. This is why I find the, the movie in this story is one of the most hilarious in this story ever. You know, they speak to your fantasy. You know, it's, it's about how we can how we can make this guy go in drugs. It's a drugs. It's not really a movie. You know, there's no movie in the movie. <clears throat> you still have your left chin? Okay. Uh, <laughs> What country are you from? My friend, can't you tell? I mean, come on, can't you tell? Hello, I'm an Arab. I'm from everywhere. All the world is under our control. We are the Arab. Hello? Actually, the fact, the truth is that we are the Arab, the one discovered the internet. It used to call the internet. And then the American, they stole it from us and they use it. You know? Why are you asking me where I'm from? Isn't it obvious? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, don't tell me about this guy. What his name is Steven Segal. I mean, this guy, he died. This guy, he go between 100 people. He smashed him like, dish, 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 dish. And his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his, his t-shirt is clean. We have to admit. I mean, this guy... He keep his clothes after fighting so clean. No? Yeah. <clears throat> you are from Lebanon. My friend, I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm from Nepal. I wish, actually. At least there is no internet there. I will take a break from Muhammad. No, honestly, when I watch movies, I don't enjoy them really because they are silly, stupid. I know even what they will say next. I know exactly what will happen next. Like, really, there is only one movie I was not expecting what is next. It's called The Perfect Host. I don't know if, if any of you uh, saw the movie. Anyone knows the movie? It's called The Perfect Host. Obviously, this movie is written by a very smart person. I have to admit, you know, because usually I really predict what is next. Easy. But in the perfect host, which is remind me of the story of Muhammad, uh, it's really, really good. The writer is really good. How many of you watch it, the perfect host? Let me show you the image of it so you can find it and watch it maybe. <coughs> Very good movie. But be careful, it's not good for someone not adult there is some sceneries which is not good for your age all of you 
you know yeah the perfect host yeah this is the perfect host movie uh, this is how the cover look like you know you can find it I'm not going to tell you the story because that will make me like I'm um, you know destroying the the joy of it but it's good to watch it's full of surprises actually and full of uh, 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 and like uh, okay, obviously the one who made the movie he have really uh, very strong imagination Christian Prince, Indonesia, Channel 62, The Arabian Prophet. All those hearts for what, my friend? Is that an Indian movie something or what? <clears throat> what if you make the Quran as a movie? You can, there's tons of movies in the Quran. I mean, the Quran can make a lot of movies, not only one movie. Uh, is it a Netflix? I don't have Netflix. I don't. I will never subscribe to Netflix. Any, you know, I used to have it before, but Netflix lately they made a a series to insult Jesus, so I will never purchase their business ever. From our money, they you know they are antichrist people. Filthy. <clears throat> otherwise you know i find really india is uh, have an amazing uh, history and uh, there is always there is always something amazing and good about countries and there's things which is bad you know sometimes scary like you know there's a lot of unjust you know through history in india uh, the rich and the poor, discrimination of the poor, those things absolutely, you know, very bad. But Indian people, for sure, they have a lot of history and, uh, and a very old civilization. Nobody can, uh, nobody can say uh, India is nothing. You know, India is a is a land of civilization. And actually, until now, Indian, you know, like. They are the best in technology. They are the best. Uh, they are very, very smart people, actually. <clears throat> Let us see. Actually, I want to get one of those. How are you? I want to get one of those. Who want to send me? <laughs> Who want to send me a cobra? <laughs> you know, for a while, I was thinking that the cobra really is dancing with the music. You know, uh, but then you learn that this snake is not hearing anything; it's just moving with the stick in his mouth. So simply, when the guy he play with the uh, with the uh, flute in his hand, he is just. Uh, uh, you know, controlling the movement of the snake, which is going to follow the stick. Yeah, and this is one thing you have to think about when you go to India. A lot of snakes. Yeah, actually, this is a clear uh, evidence that wherever Islam goes, things go bad. If you if you look at uh, uh, at uh, India and Pakistan as an example, they have actually Pakistan is part of India. This is not the land of any Muslim. This is the land of the Indian. But as usual, Islam goes, and Muslim cannot live in with, with, with other society. They cannot share. So the second you have uh, Muslims, then they will decide to split the country. And they make it a country by itself. This is what they do everywhere in Lebanon, in Cyprus, wherever you go. 
but if you look at the, the technology and what happened in India, you will see that the Indian is way more advanced, even though it's a very big, a huge, poor country, generally speaking, still they were able to accomplish a lot of things. Yeah, I know that snake is deaf, that's what I'm saying. But I was saying, in the uh, uh, like before I learned that the snake is deaf, I thought that the snake is dancing with the music, you know? But then I learned that the snake is not really listening to the music, is moving with the stick. The stick in his hand is what the snake is moving with. Can you respond about what I sent of one big cleric was baptized days ago and he had several madras? I don't know. Send me a link about him. Maybe we can make a. I can take a look. By the way, we Arab, we can make the snake hear us. You know, simply just recite Quran. The snake will say Shahada. Try it, try it, brother. Don't you see the cat? She cannot. Uh, don't walk over the Quran. So what you need to do, you bring the snake. And you, uh, you know, you you say, read Quran for her. The snake will hear and will say Shahada, will convert to Islam. Very simple. You know? You, you remember Suleiman, he did the... Uh, uh, he heard the ant speaking in the Quran. He heard her speech. How he can hear it? Because he's a Muslim. Very normal, you know? Right? Very normal. If you go in the Quran just to refresh your memory, <clears throat> just to refresh your memory. In chapter 27, verse number 18, it says that when Suleiman the army of Suleiman, which is an army of birds. You see, army of birds. By the way, I posted a video in uh, Instagram. I don't know how many of you saw it. Did you see it? There's Suleiman. He's holding a sword. And there's like a thousand chicken behind him. And they are going like, Allahu Akbar. Did you watch it in uh, Instagram? Go watch my video. I posted uh, two days ago. Here you see that uh, Suleiman and his army, which army of genie and men and birds. True story. They were... Uh, they arrive to the valley of the ants. The valley of the ants. It's like a valley, a big valley, like California Valley, you know? Big valley. There's nobody live there except ants. It's an ant tale, you know? A lot of ants. You go in the street, you see nobody, but you see ants. Ant, hello, ant. Hey, this is why you see American, they say it like to, uh, they say, hello, auntie. You know? Like when he say his, uh, the, the sister of his mother or hello ain't you know why because uh, you know this is like coming from the ant valley you know it's a true story so he arrived to the ant valley and then one of the ants you see the sort of man he he focuses like he's a he's the he's the he's the ant guru the you know the ant guru you know so the ant guru he is focusing now he's doing yoga and now he's listening. The, all the ants are talking, but there's only one ant, Suleiman, he focused with. One of the ants, brother, she said, Oh ye, oh ye ants, get into your habitations. Let Solomon and his horse crush you. All right. The story here is very convincing, but there is only one thing is making me dizzy. How in the world this aunt she was able to know the name of the king, that his name is Solomon, huh? Any Muslim can tell me? You see, I'm not going to question how Suleiman he heard the aunt. When the aunt don't talk, they communicate, yes, but they don't talk. I'm not going to question how he understand what she said. I'm going to question one thing. How in the world the end she knew his name? I will tell you what happened. This end, she was a Muslim. 
and she knew Arabic. And Suleiman, she he have a tag in his chest. It says Solomon. I am Solomon. So the aunt she look up. Oh, his name is Solomon. Okay, and please hide because Suleiman Solomon is coming. I mean, this story is beyond imagination, man. And look, when Solomon he heard his he heard what? What what he heard? He heard her speech, brother. Her speech. She was making a speech. So he smiled. <laughs> what? So Suleiman he heard the speech of the ant, so he smiled. What a story. And then, brother, not only he smiled, he was amused. Like Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. Bismillah, Allahman, Allahim. The end, she is talking, brother, and I heard even her fart. By the way, the ants, they fart too, because they eat beans, hello? So the man, not only he can hear them talking, he can hear them farting. And that means he have a very sensitive ears, elephant ears. He brought them from India. So uh, he said, oh Allah, uh, what? Suk uh, thank you, Allah, sukran, sukran, Allah, sukran. Sukran, because uh, you, uh, you give me a favor to understand, but hold on. But Allah, he taught Solomon just a few verses before. He taught him the language of the birds. How he understand the ants. Just two verses before. It says that Allah, he taught him the language of the birds. Okay. Allah, he taught him the language of the birds. We have been told the speech of the birds. Bark, 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 bark. Sorry, my translate, please. Uh, she is laying eggs. So Allah, he taught him the language of the birds, and he understand the language of the ants. May Allah ant you. What the birds have to do with the ants? I better stop here, otherwise you people might uh, start having fiction stories in your head before you sleep now. True story. Right? Now again, tomorrow we will be in this account, The Quality of Life. If you like to join us, please feel free, subscribe, Quality of Life M27. And... Uh, don't wonder why I am not here for the coming three days. Usually, we you know we are taking break from the garbage of Islam in the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we are going to be there if we are live. So join us and be part of the uh, family if you care for or to be. Maybe the admin can post the link for those who care to join us. Uh, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. I really appreciate you. And if you like to learn more about Islam, feel free to read my books and uh, earn the knowledge. Uh, here sometimes we repeat things because simply those things is enough to prove our point that Islam is nothing but a fraud. But this is, doesn't mean that this is what we know. What we know is way more that, you know, we can teach for years and, and years. But usually I focus on things which is very easy to, uh, for people to understand. Very simple. You don't need to have a high academic uh, knowledge. Very, you know, like now those verses we showed you, it's silly, it's stupid, proving to us that the Quran is nothing but fictions. So here we focus in important stuff to arm you so nobody can fool you and nobody can fool your family. And I hope that's when you learn something here, I hope you will share it with your family and uh, uh, not only with yourself because 
you know you don't want to have your child coming back from school saying I want to convert to Islam why because you thought that this cult will never come back to your door or come to your home no my friend your kids go to school there is Muslims there and they are really trained to deceive you because Islam is based in attacking Christianity not like a Christian they know nothing about Islam so a Muslim since an early age he learned a lot about attacking Christianity but your child he know nothing about Islam so it's very important for us to educate our family and to get Islam busted wherever we go this is not only for you this is for your family for your friends for your society and let everyone know that this is garbage in and nothing but garbage out and this is what we do here every day so i want to say thank you for being here may the lord bless you and until we see you again christ is lord and islam is false coming to that see you soon bye bye